The egg shaped oval known as the Track 2 to the Team, Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina, is the location for stop number 5 on the Casual GTX Cup Series for Season 29. As we are here today for the running of the Dodge Challenger 500, as we're set for 56 laps of racing on this 1.366 mile egg shaped racetrack. <clears throat> and here's the starting lineup for today's running event. Here on the pole is the man who won at Atlanta the last race we brought to you on the tour. It is Raphael LeDuc and the number 16 Montreal Canadiens Buick. He is flanked by Trent Dunham in car number one to Sega Chevrolet. Second row has car number 42, Angel Navarro, in the Old Spice GameStop Toyota. He's alongside car number 31, Dylan Poteet, in 31, the, the uh, Great Clip Chevrolet. Going to row number three has number nine, the Canon Chan TB Ford. It's Jessica Shelton in the number nine car. And she's alongside the Daytona 500 winner. It's Dylan Young in the number two, Wawa Universal Studios Outback Steakhouse Ford. Next row down has car 03, Charles Samper in the Coke Vanilla Chevrolet. He's alongside car 17. It is J Jesse Turner. Next row down has Levi McIntyre in the Marvel Studios Zeb Bell Ringer WWE Ford. He's flanked by car number 39, the Nathan's Hot Dogs Ford of Keith Batson. Both of them carrying car cameras for today's race, by the way. Sixth row has Mike Becker, who won a season at Richmond. He's alongside Matt McIntyre Matt in the Advanced Auto Parts Pontiac. Next row down has our third in car camera riding inside Cole Deaver's car, the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet, car number three. He's alongside car number 69, the waste management Dodge of Keb Shearer. Next row down has a couple of buddies here, Kyle Matthews in car number 91, the Racing Canes Pontiac. He's flanked by car number 60, the Dodge SRT Pennzoil Dodge of Joshua Osborne. Next row down has car number 94, Nathan Orman in the XI Batteries Chevrolet, car number 94. He's alongside car number 5, the, the Exalta Tide Chevrolet of uh, Phil Parker. Parker coming off of that heartbreaking loss he had in Atlanta. But he hopes to get vindication here today at Darlington. <clears throat> Next row down has car 89, Quentin Moore in the Racing with Jesus um, Boss Hog Barbecue Sauce Ford. He's flanked by car number 25, the defending series champion, Seth Cole in the Flat Out Racing Network, Liberty University, Chevrolet. Next row down has car number 51, Colton Schwartz in the Brant Chevrolet. He's alongside one number up, number 52, it's Mason Wood at the wheel of his Chevrolet. He's ne next row down has car number 70, Kat Batson in the Aussie Hair Care Products Ford. She's flanked by car number 7, the Subway Buick of Logan Williams. Next row down has car number 97, the Bang Energy Drink Dodge of Zach Rogers. Rogers was the winner at Rockingham this season. He's flanked by car number 95, Alex Miller in the Taco Bell Dodge. Next row down has Johnny Gardner in car 81, the Oreo, the Oreo Ritz Chevrolet. He's alongside car number 66, Jordan, Willi Jordan, Jordan Anderson, excuse me, in car 66, the, the Lucas Oil Chevrolet, Lucas, Lucas Oil Ford, excuse me. Next row down has car number four, William Brock in the Sonovas Bank Chevrolet, and alongside Nathan Hudson in the Valvoline Ford, car number six. Next row down has car 11, Cole Baker in the Dollar General Chevrolet, Dollar General Toyota, and alongside Nikki Martinez at the wheel of her Toyota, the, here in the Muscle Milk Toyota. Next row down has car number eight, Rob Evans in the, in the Nibco, Nibco Menards Chevrolet, car number eight. He's flanked by car 36, the Texaco Haviland Ford of Natan Amadeo. Next row down has car number 93, Zach Winkle, in the Amico Ultimate Dodge. He's alongside car number 55, the Racing with Jesus, um, Racing with Jesus Texas Pete Sauces Ford of James Sykes. Here, here, one of the two Thunderbirds in the field, Jessica Shelton, being the only other Thunderbird in the field. Next row down has Mike Wayne Robinson in car 28, the, Max, the Matco Tools Ford. He's alongside Jack Mitchell in the number... 01 McDonald's Chevrolet. And starting shotgun the field will be car number 59, Zachary Fitzwater in the SEM um, in the SEM Dodge. He's alongside car number 86, the Shell Pennzoil Pontiac of Daniel Bouchard. So the field of 40 cars lined up, getting ready to go for racing here today for 56 laps of racing here at Darlington, South Carolina. Here comes the command to fire the engines for this event. Gentlemen, 
Start your engines. That should be ladies and gentlemen, start your engines because we have, because we have about three or have about, have, have, have about three ladies in the field, I think. <clears throat> so as the field rolls up a pit road here as it will be back for the pace for the pace line, we'll be back for the start of the race right after this. Pace cars already off a of pit road here as the field comes off turn number four here. The field being hit, being being led by Raphael Duke and Trent Dunham. That's the that's the top two for this race here. As the green flag flies and the Dodge Challenger 500 is underway here at Darlington, sit back for for 56 for 56 laps of racing here today on the track to touch the tame. We saw a sterling, we saw a very spectacular race we had at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The last race we brought to you on tour here, and we expect to see the same thing here today at Darlington. As the field comes out of the back stretch in the turn number three, Rafael Duke jumps out of front. Here comes numbers 42, Angel Navarro to second position now, and Jessica Shelton following him in third spot, or trying to take third, I should say, from Trent Dunham. As they come out to turn number four, and Rafael Duke, that's where we left them at Atlanta, the last race we brought on the tour, in the lead. Inside with Levi McIntyre in car number 99 as he looks to the low side of Charles Samper here. About to complete the second lap of this race here. McIntyre has moved up, has moved up in the fifth position now. Up ahead, Charles Samper, Jessica Shelton, Angel Navarro, and Rafael Duke, the leader of this race here as they come on to number two. Mike Becker is in the sixth position now and battle for and going for second position now is Jessica Shelton in car number nine. She looks to the low side. Of Angel on the bars, they come off turn number four here, and and Shelton has second position for the time being. She's got help from Charles Sanford in car number zero three. Speeds of over 180 miles an hour around Darlington. It's kind of hard to think that the <coughs> speeds would be that fast when this track was first built way back in 1950. But, um, and especially that short a distance of a racetrack as well, too. But that's how fast they run around this track here in this in this Castle GTX Cup Series here is is, is running up as, as speeds up upwards of 181 miles an hour. See what the fastest lap of the race so far is. At Kyle Matthews at almost 183 miles an hour, 182, 817 to be exact. And Matthews right now running in ninth position at the moment. See the ticker right there on the top of your screen right there showing the top 10 drivers here and drivers here. That's the top four right now. LaDuke, Shelton, Stanford, and McIntyre. Shelton now going for the lead on Raphael LaDuke as they come down the back stretch into turn number three. Shelton th um, tucks in behind Raphael's car. And now here comes number zero three, Charles Sanford to the left side. He's going, he wants to take third position now. And here comes Matt McIntyre, the number 14 Advanced Auto Parts Pontiac to the low side. Getting by Mike Becker, so is Jesse Turner, so is Kyle Matthews, so is Trent Dunham, so is Nathan Ormond. <laughs> Ormond in there along with Dylan Young and the, 90, and the 51 car of Colton Schwartz. Remember the last time we said Darlington for the Southern 500? Colton Schwartz won that race here in the Southern 500, as, as you saw the 42 car of, of um, Angel Navarro getting off the wall a little bit, come off the fourth corner. You'll see quite a few wall scrapers here at Darlington as well, too, because after all, well, this is Darlington, obviously. In the turn number three, here comes the battle for the lead, Jessica Shelton. Going for the number one spot as she goes to the low side. And LaDuke fights back on the outside of the racetrack here. And Jessica Shelton, I think, led that lap. Yes, she did, by just a hundred of a second. So, so move Shelton to the top spot now. The Canna Chan TV Thunderbird. But Charles Samper goes to the low side. And Charles now wants to go for the lead in number 03 car. The, Cal the man they call the California Crusher. As he, as he moves to the low side. And now Charles Sanford takes the lead. And McIntyre right there with behind Shelton. As they come off turn number four here, Kyle Matthews, meantime, has gotten around Trent Dunham for position. That is for, that is for sixth. And Shelton gets shut up to the high side now. Here comes number here comes McIntyre, Matthews, Dunham, 
all behind. So they got Shovel Am in first, Ford in second. Pontiac's now about to take third and fourth away from that Ford of Shelton as they come out of, other they come out the fourth corner. So, so Jessica Shelton's stuck on the high side, as is Rafael Laduke, as they come off turn number two. Meantime, Mike Becker trying to make his way back up to the field in the number 43 car, the winner at Richmond this season. We mentioned Colton Schwartz behind him, and of course also give a call to Cat Batson in car number 70, the Aussie Hair Care Products Ford. Batson has suffered a, Batson has suffered a, suffered a heartbreaking loss she had in the Daytona 500 when she, when she came... Within a, when she when she came within a mile from taking the checkered flag in first, I mean she had the lead come off turn number four in that va in that race, and then Dylan Young snuck past her on the outside and beat her to the start finish line in that race. I mean Cat was sick over that one, but still a long season. And she's got she's got some she's got several more races to try to vindicate herself from that here, but she's also a pretty good start to the season so far. <coughs> In that car, in that Ford, behind her, Zach Rogers, who won at Rockingham this season. Behind him, Johnny Gardner and William Brock in the number four car. Cole Baker, Cole Baker's up the 15th position. 16th is Rob Evans. 17th, Keith Badson. 18th, Kev Shearer. 19th is Angel Le Angel Navarro and Rafael Aduga slipped to 20th in this race right now. On board with Keith Batson in car number 39. Let's take a ride. Let's take a ride for a lap with Keith. Cross the start finish line right now. Keith El Keith Batson in the turn number one, 189 miles an hour. Kyle Mendes gets kicked up to the high side now as, as Batson slips by him. Down to 180 miles an hour in the middle of one and two, but they'll be slower in three and four, obviously, because that track, because that set of turns is shorter, up to 196 miles an hour to turn number three, and now down to about 155 in the middle of three and four. And that lap, that, 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 and that lap for Batson, 177.839 miles per hour. Batson had to dip the apron just a little bit. He gets by. He gets by Rogers. Now gets by Jessica Shelton in car number six, car number nine. And behind Batson is car sixty nine. That is Kev Shearer in the waste management Dodge. Also associate sponsors with Liberty Mutual and Sheets as the sponsors on that on that car. So meantime, so that so Batson's up to 14th position. Shear of the 15th, 16th is now Shelton, and Kyle Matthews has dropped to 17th right now as they come down the back stretch. Here, here is Jess and Kyle go at it for position. Off through turns one and two, they come here again here. Matthews coming off turn number two. Shelton gets off the wall, and it's going to let Kyle Matthews take 16th away from Jessica Shelton. Kyle says, sorry you banged off the wall there, but I'm just going to go by, by you for the late, for position, I should say. But Zach Winkle and Alex Norris both cracked the, cracked the top 20 right now, as, they, as they've both gotten by Zach Rogers. Mike Wayne Robinson up the 22nd position right now is after he started near the back of the pack here. Colton or Quentin Moore's back at, out there behind Navarro's car for position. Zachary Fitzwater started this race 39th. He's up to 25th right now. Cole Deavers 26th. 27th is Logan Williams. Nikki Martinez 28, is 28th. 29th is Dylan Pote. 30th is Jordan Anderson. Battle for position there between Natan Amadeo and Phil Parker. Parker's got it by him, so has Orman, so has Hudson as a pair of Nathans go at it. Hudson in the six and Orman in the ninety-four. Orman running thirty-third and Hudson up to thirty in thirty-four position right now. Nathan Orman hoping for big things this season in his comeback season, but so far it's been kind of hit and miss for Nathan Orman 
so far in season 29. Amadeo runs in 34th. Seth Cole running way back in the back. He's 35th right now. Set, set, er, unfortunate run for Seth today here so far. Joshua Osborne running 20, running 36 here. He's also not having a good day right now. 37th is James Sykes. 38th is Daniel Bouchard. 39th is Jack Mitchell. And dead last right now is Mason Wood. So several drivers looking to make their way back up to the field between now and the, in, and the end of the race. <clears throat> but right now up in front is Matt McIntyre. He's a former Darlington winner himself in this series as well, too. He won the Southern 500 a couple seasons back in this series. And he, led, he, he leads right now, but here comes Charles Sanford to the low side, and he'll take the lead from Matt McIntyre. They're side by side in the back stretch here. Chevy on the inside, Pontiac on the outside. Here comes the dodge of Mike Becker to the low side on... Matt McIntyre, and McIntyre slips the third, now maybe even fourth now, because here comes the other McIntyre, Levi McIntyre, in the, in the Marvel Studios Ford. Wow, and Matt McIntyre and Mike Becker touched, and that slowed Matt way down right there, and he's going to drop a lot of spots here. Schwartz has gone by him, now here comes Cat Batson in 70. She looks to the low side and takes position, or tries to take position away from Matt McIntyre, and she will do so. Johnny Gardner slipping up, slipping up behind her as and now joining in is Kev Shear, Trent Dunham, and Kyle Matthews down the low side, and now William Brock's gonna lose a couple of spots here as Dunham and Shear's gotten by him. Now here comes Matthews to the low side. He'll get by or tries to. Dylan Young, who who was hitting a couple laps ago, he's now slipped uh, back to 13th now. Rafael LaDuke running 14th, 15th right now is Cap, er, excuse me, is Keith Batson, excuse me. And where is Jessica Shelton, you might ask? <laughs> well, there she is. She has dropped the 32nd after the, after, after the shuffle that's been going on. So she'll try to, um... So she'll try to make her way up through the field here, and the areas we're about almost halfway home here. Halfway is lap number 28. So we're, we have we're now worked we have worked on lap 26. We're now on 27 right now. Riff cam from Keith Batson's car. <clears throat> Down to 158 miles an hour in the middle of three, in the middle of three and four. And then the turn number one at 187 miles an hour, down to 181 in the middle of one and two. Getting a draft off Rafaela Duke's car to up to 195 miles an hour in turn number three and, and turn number three. And down to 153 in the middle of three and four. It goes bats in that time. And that lap for Keith is over 176.835 miles. And to check the fast lap race so far. Still is now set by Johnny Gardner at 182.967. And just as I talk about Gardner, he's off the wall. Come on, turn number two. And drops back a couple of spots there in an Oreo Ritz Chevy. As he's now got Zach Winkle and Quentin Moore behind him, the 93 and 89 cars. Mike Wayne Robinson is up to the top 20 right now, and the number 28 Matco Tools Ford. He's up to the 20th position right now. And Cole Baker right behind him in car number 11. And you got another Cole behind him, Cole Deaver, who's gotten by Dylan Poti, who slammed the wall. Come on, turn number two. So, a lot of wall slammers and wall scrapers here at Darlington Raceway. That's what this track is all about. And that's why they call it the track to tut the tame. This is for all you young whippersnappers out there. But up to the lead right now goes Levi McIntyre in car number 99. The Marvel Studios Zeb Bellringer SKF with, um, WWE Ford. Whew. Hard to get all that out of one breath. 
and he will take the lead right now as we as, as we completed now lap number 31 as we're now down to 25 to go at Darlington Raceway. Here comes Charles Sanford to the left side. Both Levi and Charles looking for win number one this season. You know to consider there's been four winners in the first four races of the season. We saw Dylan Young, Zach Rogers, Mike Becker, and Raphael Duke all win this season so far. <coughs> Will one of those four become uh, a two-time winner of the season? Or become the first repeat winner of the season? Or will we have a fifth winner, different winner of the season? Well, we'll find out in the final in the final 23, in the final 24 laps. Sanford led the last time by. Here comes McIntyre back to the low side. What an epic battle those two are having right now. Here comes Levi to the low side. He'll take the lead back from Charles. And that's let Mike Becker and Colton Schwartz in this mix now in the 43 and 51 cars. Trent Dunham in 5th position, 6th is Matt McIntyre, 7th is Kev Shearer, that's how they run right now, then Kyle Matthews, Jesse Turner, and Dylan Young, that's a top 10 at the moment. They are averaging so far 177.87 miles an hour here after, after 33 laps. Tires are wearing, the tires are usually wear out pretty quickly at Darlington after, because Darlington is one of those tracks like Rockingham. Plenty hard on tires, and that's and that's uh, ba so basically tire management is the big thing, obviously on a track like this. Because those two tracks, Rockingham and Darlington, are much like sandpaper in some ways too. Mike Becker up the second position now. Sanford down to third position. Schwartz, as we mentioned, is in fourth. Dunham in fifth. Rafael Duke's up to the top 10 now. He's in 10th position. 11th is William Brock. 12th is Keith Batson. Zach Rogers, 13th. Angel Navarro, 14th. 15th is now Quentin Moore. Jesse Turner, who was in the top 10, now getting passed by uh, Johnny Gardner in the 81 car. Gardner up to up to 16th, I think, isn't it? Isn't it? Is it, it is. Yep. Turner's in 17th. Cole Deaver's 18th. 19th is Dylan Pote and Kat Batson runs in 20th. 21st right now is Mike Wayne Robinson. 22nd is Cole Baker. 23rd is Jordan Anderson. 24th is Logan Williams. Bill Parker, 25th. Seth Cole, 26th. Joshua Osborne, 27th. Nathan Orman, 28th. 29th is Zach Winkle. 30th is Nathan Hudson. 31st is Jessica Shelton. 32nd is Rob Evans. 30... 30... Third right now is James Sykes. 34th is Natan Amadeo. Alex Nord, 35th. 36th is Mason Wood. 37th is Nicky Martinez. Then 38th is Zachary Fitzwater with Daniel Bouchard, 39th. And right now, Jack Mitchell is the one holding the caboose in 40th spot. So that's your running order right now with 38 laps in the books. And we have now 16 laps remaining here. At or actually, no, 18 laps remaining, excuse me, here at Darlington Raceway. Levi McIntyre and Charles Sanford are back at it again for the lead. McIntyre has it. Sanford wants it. Here comes Sanford to the low side and turns three and four. The Coca-Cola Vanilla Chevrolet. Charles goes low. Levi slams the door in Charles's face. They come down the back in the front stretch into turn number one. Levi steps to the track here. Charles set here. Charles has a low side. He says go. McIntyre on the outside fights back as they come down the back stretch into turn number three. And Samper has the lead and, and takes Mike Becker with him. Ford in first, Dodge in second, or uh, Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet in first, Dodge in second, Ford in third, Pontiac in fourth, and a Dodge in fifth. Then you got a Pontiac in sixth, a Chevy in seventh, a Ford in eighth, a Chevy in ninth, and a Dodge in tenth. Oh, and Trent Dunham slammed the wall of turn number two. Almost lost it. Rogers gets past him, and now Raphael LeDuc gets past him, and now add Buick into the top ten now as LeDuc takes tenth position. Boy, Dunham really smacked that wall come on turn number two here and, and just about lost the car. I thought he was going to go for a spin there for a minute. But manages to keep the handle on it, Sega Chevrolet. And 
Like a Timex, it took a lickin' and keeps on a tickin'. In the meantime, Kyle Matthews now getting shoved at the track now. And Angel Navarro gets off the wall, much like we saw Dunham do earlier. Speaking of Dunham, he gets by Kyle Matthews in car number 91. Keith Batson is the back of the back end of that pack here. He's in 14th position. Cole Deaver trying to take 15th away from Colton Schwartz. Beaver goes to the low side, and whoa, we almost had three wide there. Johnny Gardner, Dylan Poteet, Colton Schwartz, those, two, those three almost made it three wide and one and two, and that's a, that would have been a big no-no at Darlington. Two wide's tricky and nothing. Used to, two wide was considered taboo in a track like this. Used to, it was. Meantime, you got the this we got the you got this four car pack going on right here. Trent Dunham about to trying to hold off Colton, trying to hold off Quentin Moore, Angel Navarro, and Keith Batson, and trying to catch, catch back up to this front this front pack of cars here. <coughs> but back up front, it's now it's still Levi McIntyre versus Charles Sanford back at it again, and McIntyre takes the lead. In number 99, Sanford 03, Ford versus Chevrolet. And it may be down between those two for the win unless we got unless we get other unless unless the pack catches back up. And we're now already down to 10 laps remaining here. 46 in the books and, and 10 laps remain. But Matt McIntyre in the 14 car is closing up here. He and Kev Shearer both. But this is the battle up front right now. McIntyre trying to hold him off for his first victory of the season. Sanford trying to get his first of the season as well, too. And third place changing hands here as, as Levi McIntyre, or I should, I should say, Levi McIntyre is your leader. What am I talking about? Kev Shear just now take third position away from Matt McIntyre. And he's about to ready, ready to lose fourth position possibly to William Brock. That's Brock in the number four. Mac McIntyre in the 14 car. Mike Becker's caught up to him. So has Rafaela Duke. So has Kyle Matthews. Trent Dunham. Quentin Moore. Angel Navarro. Keith Batson. Zach Rogers. Cole Deaver. And Dylan Young. That's, that's, that's going all the way back to 15th position. On board with Cole Deaver in car number three, the GM Goodrich Chevy. Cole can see the top ten from here, and he can smell it from here, basically. That's a look from up to the roof cam of Cole Deaver's car. Trying to get by Zach Rogers here. Now he's got he's got Matt McIntyre up in the high side now in the 14 car. See where Cole is clocked in this time by. Well, Matt shot shot off that second turn. Beaver clocked in 13th position that time by. Six laps remaining. Now to the low side, battle for going on for the looks like that is for ninth position, right? Or eighth position, I should say. Kyle Matthews versus Mike Becker. Positions being exchanged here in the late moments of this race. Here is that Angel Navarro goes by William Brock, zips by him, and give a call to Quentin Moore. He's up to the top ten right now. He's in sixth position at this moment here as he's as he tries to take fifth from Lark, from. From Rafaela Duke, but look who's but look who has closed up 
on the front two. Kev Shear is is now battling with. We said Samper and McIntyre may be a battle for a win, but it's going to be a three-way battle now. Kev Shear is going to have going to be the is going to be the prime protagonist in all this. Will it be Samper? Will it be McIntyre? Will it be Kev? That's going to be the question here as they come down now for three laps remaining. Ford in, or Chevrolet in first, Ford in second, Dodge running in third. Here, Kev's one of the two intrepids in the field. Of the, the other being driven by 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 um Matt, uh, by Zachary Bitswater. A chess game at over 170 miles per hour. They come down the, down the front stretch here, down for two laps to go. Charles Sanford trying to hold them all off. But here comes Thrash Maniac, the lead by McIntyre to the low side. Off turn number two, McIntyre to the low side, Sanford on the high side as he goes to turn number three. Kev's trying to push Levi to the lead, he's got it! Levi McIntyre, the number 99, Marvel Studios, SKF, Zeb Bellringer, WWE, Ford. Off turn number four, the white flag waves, one lap remaining. And now McIntyre, and now Sanford and Kev share our... our we're more side by side. Kev's taking second, second, second position now, but that may have sealed the deal for Levi McIntyre, possibly. Kev is trying to close. Is it going to do turns to number three and four? But I don't think he's got in him as they come off to number four and chalk up the fifth winner in the first five races of the, the, first five races of the season. Chalk up the fifth winner of the season as Levi McIntyre wins the Dodge Challenger 500 at Darlington. What a drive for the man from the state of Ohio as Levi McIntyre wins here today. Kev Shearer comes up in second position. Charles Sanford third. And how about Quentin Moore? We haven't talked about him at, at much today, and he ends up finishing fourth. Raphael Aduke, though, the points that are coming in this race here, he adds on to his, he adds, he adds on to his hot start. He ends, up, he ends up finishing fifth. Sixth will go to Angel Navarro. Seventh to William Brock. Eighth to Kyle Matthews. Ninth to Zach Rogers. And Matt McIntyre drops to 10th position. Average speed, 175.640 miles per hour. And five races are in the season right now as, they, as we have the rest of the finishing order for you here. Cole Beaver comes up in 11th position. A good start, a good finish for him. Then uh, Dylan Young, 12th. Johnny Gardner, 13th. Dylan Poteet, 14th. Bill Parker with the 15th position after er, after being in the back for much of the day. 16th to Jordan Anderson. 17th will go to Trent Dunham. 18th to Keith Batson. Joshua Osborne of the 19th. And Colton Schwartz fell the 20th. Seth Cole, 21st. Then Logan Williams, Nathan Hudson, Mike Becker, Jesse Turner, Cat Batson, Mike Wayne Robinson, Rob Evans, was 28th, Jessica Shelton, a, dis, a dismal 29th, and, they, and Nathan Orman comes home in 30th. Excuse me. Um, Natan Amadio was 31st, and James Sykes, Alex Miller, Nikki Martinez, Mason Wood, Zach Winkle, Cole Baker, Dana Bouchard, um, Jack Mitchell, and Zachary Fitzwater was the last of the finishers here, here today. So... That will do it here today at Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Congratulations again to Levi McIntyre, the winner of the Dodge Challenger 500 and five winners in the first five races of the season. Can we make a six for six at Texas? Well, we'll find out. If you like what you see here, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the NSCR to the NSCR Sports and Gaming Channel. We got everything on this channel. We got NR races. We got gaming videos. We got NR online videos. Whatever the president of the NSCR is, Seth Cole, Seth Cole desires for this channel, and be sure to check out Seth's Thrill Cell Cup Series, which is also on his channel as well too. His series is in full swing, as well as our other two NSR series as well, too. Dylan Young's uh, NSCR T-Mobile Cup series from X, you know, his channel his channel is X8675309858X. It's his channel. That's X8675309858X. That's what his channel is. And also from Thrash Mini 899, our race winner today, Levi McIntyre, has his Internet Series series, the Internet Series Marvel Studios Cup Series, on his channel as well, too. So be sure to give those two channels a sub, and um, as well, too, and check out those series as well, too. And check out, so 
So check out those two series, as well, along with the Anna CRA channel as well, too. And check out our, our other offline series as well, too. That's what I'm trying to say here. If I could speak, that would be dangerous. So that was... So, that will do it here today at Darlington Raceway here. For now, this is James Qualls. This has been a production of the Internet CRA. Off on Racing SBS. We'll see you at Texas Motor Speedway for the Interstate Batteries 500.